Vice Chancellor, Bangladesh University of Professionals, and distinguished audience. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning. Today I'm here in front of you with the a brief appraisal on the counseling and placement center that is very newly evolved in this university. So just to begin with the journey, how it started. Uh, this was started in the last year with the name of Office of Student Counseling and Guidance. It was on 13th May 2019 and then it was renamed again as Counseling and Placement Center. That is the present name that we have. Uh, the ad hoc manpower was approved by the highest body of the university governing that is the syndicate and the center itself like the other two centers of the university is personally being supervised by the respected VC. So today we are just going to give a glimpse what is we are and our forthcoming events for this year. So this is our team at present. We have a deputy director who is looking after the placement part. For the counseling part, we have one academic counselor who has recently joined. And then we have assistant academic counselor who is looking after the socio-emotional counseling and administratively we are supported by one section officer. That's how we will go on with today's presentation. Just to give you a light on this, that we have basic two streams. One is counseling and the other part is placement. On the counseling side, we have two sub-segments. The first one is the socio-emotional counseling, and the other part is academic counseling. So both combining, they look after the academic and socio-emotional well-being of the students. That is their main purpose. And on the other side, the placement center, their role is to assist the students in achieving their dream job or placing themselves in the future career. That's, that is what in a nutshell. how we can thrive 
more and flourish ourselves. So, uh, in my more than five years of experiences of providing mental health services, I have found that students usually comes with uh, students usually comes with these three different issues. Number one is academic stress. Like before the um, exam, they usually um, face stresses, exam stresses, nervousness, anxiety, things like that. Environmental factors, which is um, unfavorable family relationship, um, natural calamities, death of close one, and the others like tech addiction, porn addiction, things like that, which leads them to emotional instability. Like they feel depressed, they feel uh, hopeless, they feel anxious, and again these two together feed each other. Like this in emotional instability again led them to this crisis. So our job is to help a student with this aspect, the emotional instability, how they can overcome their emotional instability. So by doing this, what we will ensure, we will ensure a beneficial relationship between good health and learning. Like as WHO has mentioned, health doesn't only include physical health, but also the mental health. So the more healthier the students will remain, the more they will be able to learn. And again, the more they will learn, they will be able to become healthier. And when her parents came to know about it, they took a thick cane and beat her mercilessly. The five years old little girl didn't realize why she was punished. Since then, verbal, physical, and mental abuse became part of her everyday life. After 14 years now, she's walking through the hall of the universities. You may see her every day with a smile on her face. She's smart enough to take a rigorous course, but she's struggling. She's struggling with her studies because she doesn't have a sound environment to study at home. She doesn't have friends to share. She doesn't know where to go for support. But she has an aim, she has a goal. She feels that someday she's going to get a job. She's going to be independent. And she's going to stay away from her home. But she knows that there are support available. And BUP has taken the steps to give the support to all the students. I would like to thank our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Sir, Pro Vice Chancellor, Sir, and all the entire authorities for providing the space and support for the students. Now the students know that there is someone who is going to listen and they can share. There is someone who is going to empathize, who is going to guide them, who is going to guide them without judging. There can be thousands of fact external factors that affect a student's academic performance. And the performance that they are going to see is always depending or on inter and external factors. Therefore, the academic counseling is not only entirely depending on academics, it often overlaps with social emotional well-being and also providing their future guidance. So for BUP, what is academic, academic counseling? Academic counseling complements the academic mission of BUP by providing campus services and resources and support an environment that fosters personal growth, learning, development, and overall well-being of students. And academic counseling is committed to assist students to service high-quality academic support, provide advice to academic progress and employability, and overall guidance of the students for their well-being. 
Currently, 6,365 students are enrolled in BUP. Ideally, we should be targeting all the students. But being practical, we have made three target groups. Students who will, have, will be referred or selected, and they will be potential non-polygate and dispolygate students, referred or selected students with disciplinary ground, and students who require further educational guidance. What are the purpose of these target groups? We want to prevent. We want to prevent the students to getting low grades. We want to prevent them to become a non collegiate or disqualified. We want to do the damage repairing. Those students who have already crossed the line, we want them to bounce back to bounce back from their lower grades. We want to bounce back from their low attendance. And of course, we are going to guide them for their future. These are all the existing supports at the moment the UP is providing. And now all the faculty members, you are taking extra classes, you are taking extra exams, there are student advisors, uh, students are also providing, able to take retake of a course, they, have, they can temporarily withdraw themselves from a course, there are option of a special examination, and there are SMS alerts for absentees. With all this support, still there are certain percentage of students who are not performing according to our expectation. So there are some plans we have initially taken that there will be a list of students, of non polygit and dis students, which already exist among the department. ICT Center will be sending them the emails and SMS so that these students know that they are in the borderline. So they take minimum time, so please help me. These are the service the placement center is going to offer. And please note that this is a self-read slide, so please kindly read the slide by yourself. You're finished with reading? Okay, moving on. Work philosophy. Exactly, this is what we are going to do in the placement center. Firstly, we shall work in coordination with the faculty regarding placement opportunity, assist alumni and clubs in providing internship and placement, assist students in career search process, organize skill enhancement training, creating volunteer base from the students and maintaining a database to identify the potential candidates from the students. Mode of engagement. Uh, we shall engage the students, teachers, potential employers, everyone working with us by organizing seminar, workshop, motivational lecture, open day, so on and so forth. So these are our development partners. So dear faculty members, you are the most important development partners of CPC. So I shall request you to take us on board. Okay? We are a new center evolving. So take us on board. However, we have more partners like the potential employers, admin staffs, research organizations, and obviously the students. So taking that philosophy into context, we have devised the tentative activities for 2020. So today we are engaging you in the faculty day. So the next occasion for us will be conducting a seminar on stress management. The third event will be introducing CPC to the students.